Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the Pulid Flux project once again, but this time it is from a different author. So Pulid, we are going to take a picture of a person, like a face, change the prop and then get the same person in a different style, different backgrounds. That is basically Pulid. What today's project will allow you to do is to take a group picture, then you can generate images based on the people in that group. You will be able to select the person that you want to generate images from. And there are some features that will help you get better quality images. So this is just uh, another example. We got another one here. And this is what I'm talking about, getting better quality. So. The one on the left was generated using the original Pulid Flux and the one on the right is from this new project that I will talk about. So if I go into Comfy UI here, you can see the difference with this comparer. We have the original version and then the new version. So this is what I'm going to talk about today. The project is called Comfy UI Pulid Flux GR. Before it was actually called Comfy UI Pulid Blocks, but because there was a name conflict, the project name got changed and the nodes as well, they got a different change. So as you can see here, the repo was renamed and moved and uh, there should not be any issue installing this version along with the previous version. Even better is that the requirements for this project is the same as the one I talked in my last video. So if you install Pulit using that video, you can simply install this one the same way. There should not be any problem. So here's the workflow. I have a group image here, like a group picture, and it goes into the apply pulled flux. The input fields are pretty much the same. The way to start at and at what we have additional here is that we can use the face number then you can define which face that you want to use. There are all the features as well, like you can add a little bit of blur. You can also use different algorithm to detect which face that you want to use. And there's also a fusion. So the fusion is how well it's going to blend in the final image. And you can choose different algorithm here. To install it, you'll need to go into the manager, custom nodes manager. And then at the top here, search for Pulid. You'll get a couple of results and uh, you want to install this one that says Comfy UI Pulid Flux GR. And then you can see the offer here. Click on install. If you've already installed this one, this is from my last video. There should not be any problem. It uses the same inside face. So this one should be a very simple install. Click on the install button. It will ask you to restart. Click on restart and then you would go back to Comfy UI. Next, go into workflow. Click on open and then navigate to where you have Comfy UI installed. Go inside Comfy UI folder. Go inside the custom nodes folder and then look for the project. It should be this one here that says GR at the end. Go inside it, there will be an examples folder and then you will get the workflow. Select it, click on open and uh, you make it this, but we don't really need this GR image size. If you want to install one additional node, you can go ahead, go into the manager, click on install missing custom nodes and then you can install this. However, I don't think it's necessary. We can simply select it, delete. You can also delete this one. We don't need it. And then we just need to add an empty latent. So double click and search for empty and select this one, empty SD3 latent. It's 1024 by 1024. We just need to connect this latent to the case sampler like this. Now, if you have the original flux dev save tenses file, which uses the load diffusion model, and uh, you'll need the load VAE as well as the dual clip loader, then you should be good to go. You can go into edit, click on refresh nodes definition, and then just select your models from here. So clip, I think I have this T5X one. You can select your load VA here and you can also select the model here. If you have the Comfy UI org version, then you will need to delete this dual clip loader, load diffusion model, and then the load VA. Then double click on an empty space and 
just search for checkpoint and this one the simple checkpoint model will go into the pulled flux the clip will go into positive and negative we have two and then the vae will go into the vae decode here so depending on the version that you have you can basically use this version or whatever is already provided additionally if you have the gguf version you can also add a load uh, gguf loader and then you can select it from there everything should be set now for me for the inside face i found out that cpu works best for me but you can change it to cuda if you are able to do it and uh, i'm also using the 0.9.1 bullet flux model i talked about this model in my last video it's basically an updated version now everything else can stay the same you can add your image here and then change the prop from here and then click on q prop you should get an image all right so here's an example exactly the same thing now if you want to add the group image into your workflow so get the image add it drag and drop what's important here when you have multiple people in the input image is this section here where you can control which person you want to select and then generate images based off now the top part weight start at and add should be self-explanatory if you want to select the person you have two ways of doing it there's the face number and then there's the face select one when you click on the face select you get some presets that you can use we have center face that should be obvious it's the person in the center we have the larger space that's based on the algorithm that uh, it will detect it then we have the smallest most prominent face and then we have normal so normal you will use it when you want to select the face number yourself so change it to normal in here where it says use face number set it to true and then you will start using this face number um, zero means the first person the first one that the algorithm detected and then you can continue on doing one two three like this this is index base basically so here's an example zero here i get uh, the first person i can do it here so this is the first person and then when i change it to five here i got uh, this person here and changing to four i got the second person so that's what i mean by what position the algorithm detected those faces so it's not exactly from left to right zero one two three it's based on the index that was assigned to the faces by the algorithm so you'll have to play around with it in order to find out which number is yours so going back to this example of how I was able to get a clearer image, you will have to go back to this apply bullet flux and then play around with the numbers below. So where you have fusion until train steps, that is what you get. You'll have to do now. There's no magic number that I can tell you in order to get better image every time each image will be different and you will need to play around with these numbers in order to get a good image for you so i'm just going to tell you what i did i change normal to train weight fusion weight i changed to 1.3 and the fusion minimum was 0.3 so this is what i did and it was able to give me a clearer image compared to the original version i've also tried with the blur as you can see here the top one is the uh, the one without any blur and then the bottom one is blur at 1.0 and if i use this uh comparer here i don't see any difference at all so i'm not sure what the blur is doing maybe it's only being used to detect the face but not actually affecting the final generation if you found out what it's doing or if you know what it's doing please let me know in the comments down below thank you for watching until the very end have a nice day take care i will see you next time